What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It is Tuesday, happy Tuesday everyone. Um, it is the afternoon and I'm about to head out to Mayfair. I've got an event to go to, it's actually Layla's, I'm sure it's out by now, by the time this video goes up. So it's Layla's PLT Maternity Edit, which is so fun and exciting. So I'm going to pop down and support and have some fun. So. I'm just super casual today because you won't believe it. Actually, you will, it's London, for goodness sake, it's September. So um, it's pouring down with rain today, like pouring, pouring, pouring. And uh, it's not the greatest, but apparently tomorrow and the day after it's supposed to be good. So fingers crossed for that, but super casual for today. I'm wearing some jeans. I'll try and take some pictures, but let me try and show you. I'm just wearing this ribbed white bodysuit. I've got some jeans on, I've got some sneakers on, and this fun little puffer gilet. Um, this one's from Zara, and the green matches the sneakers, so it's perfect. Just got my bag. I'm gonna take you guys with me, so hopefully I can get some good footage. Um, but aside from that, not much on today. In terms of makeup, this is like my general makeup. I did do a get ready with me with um, pretty much this this makeup right here. I'm wearing a different blush from Vive, um, which I really, really love. It's a beautiful coral, very um, luminous blush. So I'm enjoying it. I have another event later on this week, so hopefully it'll be a good vlog. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Thank you so much for the love so far. Slow but steady. <laughs> I am doing my best in terms of um, consistency, so I've got three videos up. If you haven't seen them, go check them out. I also have a get ready with me. So um, yeah, I'm just enjoying filming right now, and um, I hope you guys are enjoying it too. So let's get going, and I'll see you guys at the event. so happy Thursday it is yet another day and I didn't do too much yesterday um I just chilled at home I had just a bunch of like house errands to do um cleaning and organizing um don't mind the mess back here I'm actually going to so I have this storage unit right here where I keep all of my mostly just my makeup and then just like other miscellaneous things uh, like my camera equipment and whatnot I want to go through all of my makeup declutter and then put it all back and just like organize everything so I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you guys um, my makeup collection how I store and organize my makeup because um I'm doing it so why not show you guys like my bathroom organization you guys really really love that in my first video um, so I'm gonna do the makeup next, which will be fun. So today's plan is I've got another event. So today is with Laura Mercier, which I'm really excited about. I'm down in... Anyway, so I've done my makeup and I want to show you guys just a few products I've been loving. So I've been obsessed with this NARS corrector in light. I did show this in my Get Ready With Me, which was the previous video. So if you guys haven't checked that out, check that out it's my most favorite makeup and i show you guys how i do this makeup so i've been really really loving this if you guys haven't tried it i would check it out especially if you get like dark under eye circles i do sometimes put it around the nose which i did today and i've been wearing this blush which i'm wearing today it's the vive blush in pesca it's this beautiful um peachy shade and i'm not sure if all the blushes are like this but this one's got a sheen to it so I've not really been wearing highlight on my cheeks. I've just been wearing it down the bridge of the nose, as you can see. But I've barely been wearing highlight on the cheeks, which is crazy. Like, if you had told me that, like, a couple years ago, I would have laughed at you. But I'm not wearing any highlight on the cheeks lately. So um, this blush, I usually do, like, a matte blush, which I do with the Kylie Cosmetics one. But this one has, like, a beautiful sheen to it. Um, and it looks really pretty on the cheeks. So I just packed that on. Um, I think this light is washing me out a bit, but I packed that on. It's so pretty. And then I got another new Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Setting Spray. I ran out of this, and this is all I use in terms of setting spray. I'm obsessed with this. I spray this at least like four times during my 
um, the end of my makeup. Love this so, so, so much. And I got just like a big jumbo one, which I've been obsessed with. And then today's foundation is the same one I wore in my previous one, which is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation, which I love. I've been mixing it with a bit of concealer just because it's a tad dark for me at the moment. And then lastly, I get a lot of questions on what lashes, even in the last video, what lashes I'm wearing. I literally just wear individual. So you can see like there's three packs here and I just finished my one other pack that I had there. So I literally just mix and match individual lashes. I use the Eyelore ones. Um, I just get a bunch of different types. There's like doubles, there's, there's triples, there's single ones, there's... Um, super thick ones, super light ones. So I just mix and match and I do a cat eye type lash. I just love customizing lashes. If you guys have been watching me for a long, long time, you know I've been doing this for years and years. And that's about it on makeup. And I'm wearing just like two earrings um, on each ear, which I've actually gotten these recently, which I've been loving. Did a sleek bun with a little in terms of perfume, I've been obsessed with this Kaoli one. This is the White Flower and Amber Duo. And it's perfect. It fits in my bag perfectly. So I take that with me. For lips, I'm wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Hepburn Honey, which is a beautiful like mid-tone beige shade. And you guys know me and my beige nude lipsticks. And then for gloss, I'm wearing the Pat McGrath. I don't... There's a million names on the back here, but really beautiful so i'm just wearing that pop those in my bag so i'm gonna get going i'll see you guys there hi where did you come from i never planned to fall in love but then again no dies can i call you tonight I'm dying to see your smile I just wanna say What's up guys? So it is in the morning and I'm about to head to the gym but I wanted to let you guys know the plan for today I'm going to tackle this right here. So as you guys know, this is my office space. This is where I work. This is where I keep all of my makeup and um, as I mentioned earlier, I wanted to clear this out and just refresh so that's exactly what I did. I took everything out of the units, I cleaned it, and um, I decluttered a lot of makeup. Now, before the house was renovated, I knew I wanted to um, have a different makeup storage situation. And um, I used to have this big IKEA storage and as you guys know with this job you've seen other people share their collections it does get overwhelming and it does get really really big over time especially after doing it for years you accumulate a lot of stuff and a lot of makeup and that's exactly what i had i had too much going on and it was getting too overwhelming to the point where i wasn't using anything i wasn't even looking in the drawers the makeup was just being wasted and i didn't want that before this space was done i decluttered more than half my makeup i got rid of so so much not because i didn't want it but because it was just not being used i knew i just wanted a more uh, cut down version of what i had things that I absolutely loved and would end up using. For me, I'm not a makeup artist. I don't do makeup on other people, so I don't need a million things. I don't need a million shades of foundations or concealers. It's still a lot, don't get me wrong, for the average person, but it's much more manageable. I knew um, before moving to the space that I didn't want a huge storage unit of makeup. I knew I wanted everything put away, not on display, and much more cut down. That's exactly what I did and I'm much happier now. It's exactly what I wanted. Now this storage unit was so difficult to find. I looked everywhere. It's actually really difficult, believe it or not, to find a white storage unit that was the correct size with the exact um, situation that I needed in terms of shelving, in terms of amount of cupboards and whatnot so i actually customized this one um it's really really sturdy really heavyweight and will last me a long time so this fits exactly what i needed it to it looks nice and sleek and simple and just makes the space look good without having anything on display so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head to the gym come back and then we're gonna put everything back in and i'm gonna take you guys through all of my collection, how I store and organize everything, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. So I'm gonna get going, and when we come back, we can begin. 
So if you guys saw one of my previous vlogs, you saw that I purchased this little trolley from Ikea to keep my everyday makeup on, the stuff that I use constantly, my go-to stuff, just all my favorites and the stuff that I really need to reach on a daily basis. This all used to live on my desk and my desk is a glass clear desk and it just looks so messy and I did not like that. So now I found this little home in this corner for it. So whenever I need to reach this, I just pull it through. So I actually wanted to take you guys through what I have on here, um, just so you get an idea of what I use. And I just thought it would be fun. I organized it a bit better than I had it last time. So that's why I wanted to show you guys. Everything is um, acrylic and everything is from Amazon. So I'm gonna take you guys through what I have on the top here. So in the back here, I have this one big compartment and this keeps a lot of my setting sprays, my primers and my foundations. Back here, I have all my concealers and here I have all my contour products and maybe a couple extra concealers. Here I just have a mix of things, a couple liquid blushes, um, just some glow products and a couple eye products. Then back here I have all of my eye brushes and here all of my face brushes. So that's just one big compartment back there. Then I have one of these cases and this is all my eye pencils, my mascaras, my, um, you know, glue, scissors brow products all live in here. Then I bought all of these stackable acrylic cases because I have my complexion here. Here I will keep all of my powders. So I have a lot of my powders right here underneath. It's like my tape, my liner, my cuticle oil. Everything I mainly need for the beginning part of my makeup, it all lives right on top. So it's really easy and convenient. The second section right here is all of my eye products and all of my cheek products. So I have all of my go-to palettes, most of which are Natasha Denona. Then back here I have more palettes. These again are stackable. So underneath, as you can see, I have more palettes, more eye palettes. Up here I have some of my lashes, some new products that I want to use, all of my sponges. Then again, one of these compartments right here, I have all of my cheap products. So my cream bronzers, my powders, my um, blushes, my highlights, more highlights, more blushes back here, all of the smaller versions under there. So again, this is all of my eye palettes and then just cheek products. And then just some new in bits that I want to try out and use in videos and in just content in general. Then lastly, down here, we have all of my lip products. So I used one of these boxes for my lipsticks and pencils, and then I have my glosses here. These are just all of my favorites and my go-tos, the things that I constantly use and just want out. Then back there, I have my brush cleaners that I use on a regular basis, just so it's nice and handy. So again, this is all of my go-tos. I just roll this in and out and um, it's nice and organized for whenever I need to use it. So when I originally put my makeup together, I actually bought a bunch of different acrylic organizers. And so these are what made the cut and how I used everything. So I bought these big acrylic bins right here for everything that's big. So setting sprays, primers, foundations, body products. So that's what I'm gonna put in first. So in here I have a lot of setting sprays, a lot of extra primers, extra foundations, anything that didn't fit in the other bins. So that one goes down there. Then I have my foundations. So as you can see, I have uh, my hourglass foundations. I have a bunch of shades in that. I have my Estee Lauder um, foundations, my MAC, um, Fenty. Again, these are just extra shades. I have my other Estee Lauder foundation, which I absolutely love, double wear. I have my Christian Dior, my favorite Shiseido. I have all of the Huda Beauty. I have my liquid hourglass foundations there and just a bunch of other favorites that I like to keep. Then I have my primers in here. These are again, just favorites. A lot of Laura Mercier, um, my By Terry products, my favorite Becca, which I'm so sad about. Ugh, I can't even think about it. My Marc Jacobs, 
These are a lot of glow products and a lot of primers. Love these Kevin O'Quan illuminators. Um, my Natasha Denona illuminator, which I love. And then lastly, I have this one, which I cleared out a lot. It's very empty right now, which I'm really happy about. I don't like to hoard products. So these are a lot of my body glows. So a bunch of KKW, my... Tom Ford um, oil, shimmering oil, the Patrick Ta body glows, and just a bunch of good, um, glowy, gorgeous products. Okay, so onto my favorite, favorite part. You can't even see the bottom of this, but again, I cleared out a lot, which um, I'm really, really happy about. I actually cleared out so much that I have two empty one of these. These containers are a little different to those ones right there. These ones actually pull out. This one has all of my setting powders that I don't um, need on a day-to-day -day basis or their backups or their different shades of products. So I have like my Laura Mercier powders. I have extra Charlotte Tilbury. I have a cream bronzer from Chanel here. My Hourglass powders, my Huda Beauty powders, my Fenty powders. So everything is in here. I'm gonna put that back there. So in here, I have a lot of my backup powders that I will just never get rid of. Bronzers, highlighters, blushes. I love Becca. I'm really, really sad about that. I mean, look how stunning. I just am so sad about Becca. So then I have my Ilmasca blushes. I love, love, love their blushes. If you guys haven't tried them, highly, highly recommend. I have my Natasha Denona glow powders, which I absolutely love. These are all of my cheek products that are cream or liquid. So um, this one looks a little messy, but it is what it is. I love this Makeup Forever palette. I've been using it for years. I have all of my beautiful Charlotte Tilbury um, bronzers and highlights and blushes. This beautiful NARS one is so good. Uh, a lot of contour sticks. A lot of my nude sticks are all down there. And then just a bunch of other products. All of these hourglass highlighter sticks see fits perfectly and then i can fit another three here this is another um, cheek draw i have all of my charlotte tilbury palettes all of these beautiful dior palettes that i absolutely adore these hourglass powders which i love dior highlight and then i have some of my mac um, powders a couple limited edition stuff like the Aaliyah one, but I got rid of most of my MAC collection. Although I absolutely adore it, I just, I was never going to use it. It was all limited edition stuff, mostly probably expired, and I just wasn't using it, so I sent it to a better home. But I literally had a drawer full like this of all the MAC powders that I had. But I just kept all of my essentials. I love this highlight right here absolutely stunning these extra dimension blushes are everything and i love them the next two i'm going to show you guys are actually my favorite most aesthetically pleasing drawers they're so neat and beautiful this next one is a bunch of my kylie cosmetics blushes all of the original packaging ones all of these ones that i purchased i love these blushes so much if you guys know me you see i use the kylie cosmetics blushes a lot I also have a bunch of their highlights and bronzers. And then down here I have all of my YSL blushes, which are absolutely beautiful. If you guys haven't tried them, definitely check them out. Some of my Charlotte Tilbury, a bunch of my Laura Mercier. And then I have a lot of my KKW. A lot of them I did get rid of um, just because I wasn't using them as much. So I kept all of my favorites. Also the eyeshadow palettes and some Kylie Cosmetics unused um, lip products that I haven't tried yet. Then my next one is probably my favorite. It's so beautiful. My Fenty Beauty draw. This overflowed to two of these and I really, really cut down. But I kept all of my favorites, all of the original highlights that I originally purchased when the brand first came out. My favorite bronzers. I have the other glow powders back there. All of the eyeshadow palettes that I love, all of the cream blushes that I just stacked on top of each other. Then I have all of the match sticks that I use. So this one is going to go right on top of there. So that is my first cupboard right there. Really easy. All the complexion products, um, really easy just to pull out. Everything is organized. I know where everything is. 
So moving on to the next unit. So here I'm gonna put um, everything that I have left basically. I'm gonna start off with whatever I have remaining in these acrylic containers, the pull out ones. So here I have all of my extra brushes. I managed to fit as many as I could in here and I had to really cut down on the extra brushes that I had. So the extra brushes will go there. And then I cut down on most of my palettes just because I didn't need as many. So here I have a lot of my cheek palettes and then some big products like the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I also have this beautiful Hourglass palette that I love. I have all of my beautiful NARS palettes as well that I keep in here. My KKW palette and all of my gorgeous other cheek palettes that I absolutely love. So that will go there. I used to have drawers and drawers and drawers of palettes. I really, really cut down. Here I have all of my extra palettes that are not in that trolley. I have a lot of palettes on that trolley actually. So I have all of my extra Natasha Denona palette. I have my Anastasia palette. I have the Dior palette, Kylie, NARS. It's just a bunch of good eye palettes in here. So that will live there. Then I have this half empty one, which I can use for any new in um, makeup that I get. So it's good. So I just have some extra palettes in here, like my Pat McGrath, Anastasia, my beautiful Suku palette, S-U-Q-Q-U. -Q -Q these are so underrated. I don't think enough people talk about these palettes. These are absolutely beautiful, really luxurious. Tom Ford type palettes. Then things I would just never get rid of like Chloe's palette that has my name in it. I used and abused this. Nini is right there. Um, really, really cute. I just would never get rid of this. Like it's just too precious, so. Then lastly, I have a bunch of these little ones. Um, I actually cleared out a lot, a lot, a lot of my lip products. I have like a bunch of these um, empty now. I used three of these for my trolley, which you guys saw my go-to lip products and just my um, eye products. So I have three of these in my trolley and then I have three of these empty. So I emptied out six containers. In here I have a bunch of single eyeshadows, a lot of Illamasqua, a lot of NARS, a lot of Bobbi Brown, a lot of MAC. Love single eyeshadows. But then I have a bunch of my KKW single loose powders, a bunch of glitters and gems that I absolutely love to keep and use a bunch of my MAC pots and uh, colorful liners that I have. And more single shadows. These are mostly cream. My Natasha Denona top coats, Hourglass, Charlotte Tilbury, a bunch of glitters. Um, and these are just really, really great for the holiday season. So I'm gonna put these down here, two in the back, and then two in the front. So I've located the rest of these little containers. So because I have a lot of lip products, those are gonna go down there. So up here I have space for four of these little containers. And here I'm gonna put a bunch of things that I don't really reach for as often. This random little container, it's a bunch of tweezers and tools, some tape, extra glue, lash glue, some random products that I don't really reach for as often. So that can go back there. Then I have all of my extra unused mascaras that again, I don't need as often, so that can go back there too. Then these extra brow products, a bunch of just brow gels and pencils that again, I don't need as often. These are just extras. Shadows like the Huda Beauty ones, the Bobbi Brown liquid shadows, a bunch of liquid glitters and some just extra eye products. So that top section is full now. So we have the four little containers there and four here as well. And then the palette right here. Now we're gonna do back here, which is gonna be all of my lip products. And um, again, because I decluttered a lot, there's gonna be a bunch of space. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with pencils, a lot of pencils. This one right here is a bunch of eye pencils actually. So I've separated all of these liners. So this can go in the back. These are just all my nude liners. These are all the dark ones, the red ones, the pink ones. Then I have a little container of extra concealer. So here I have what's left of my MAC lipsticks, my Natasha Denona, 
some Huda Beauty and just some extra glosses on the bottom. Here I have more lipsticks. Here I just have all of my extra glosses. This one's definitely super beautiful. And I have my Fenty Beauty cube right here. So I have all of the glosses and liquid lips in here. And then this one's a personal favorite. These are all of my clear glosses. How pretty is that? So I have um, Morphe, I have Elamasca, this is a clear one, uh, Estee Lauder clear one, just some good clear glosses. So I have five there and five there, and now I have a bunch of space. This used to be really filled up. So that is now my makeup collection. Really, really happy with it. Much more condensed than it was before. Really organized, I know where everything is. And I have kept all of my favorites and my essentials and my go-tos and everything that I just really love to use. My collection used to be so, so big that it just wasn't manageable. Okay, so lastly, I have obviously another two cubicles here. This one, I keep all of my camera equipment. I keep just a bunch of like wires and chargers and all of my tech stuff. But I have this other one right here where I keep all of this stuff. So all of this stuff is basically all of my backup products. So backup makeup, backup skincare, backup hair care. So I'm going to try and speed through this. On the bottom, I'm going to keep things that I don't really reach for as often, which is things like this, a bunch of like body care, some sun care, um, some candles and just some skin care that I don't really need right now. And then I have some sun care, which I definitely am not using. And this one, which is literally just a bunch of things, a lot of random stuff All my lashes, all the faves in here. So this can go on top because I will be using that. This is so gorgeous this is all my sheet masks so that is that section right there okay i know i just finished but i changed a little something i actually moved all of my extra beauty blenders in this little pot and my nail polishes in this one so i'm gonna put them in here where i had that extra space so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is what everything ended up looking like, much happier. And I hope you guys enjoyed the organization. Let me know what you think down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.